party. Did you pee on this party right here? Such a good boy. Ah! That's not how you use the potty giggle. Bye, love you. I love you. Are you sitting on the potty? Mm -hmm. Good job. Day number two of potty training. First day was to get him to sit on the potty and be comfortable with it. Second day is set him in front of a video. And I know we've been trying to keep him away from videos, but this is worth the sacrifice because we need him to just go to the bathroom in there once. We just need him to go, just go pee once and have like this huge excitement and huge party after he does it. So you see, he's sitting there, right there, and he's drinking his juice, which is what we want him to do. We want him to just keep having lots of fluids. And then when he finally goes to the bathroom, we'll know it, because he'll keep trying to get up, because he's uncomfortable with it, because he'll need to go to the bathroom, but we'll know it. And then as soon as he goes, we'll make a big, huge party of it, we'll maybe take him to the store and get him something, I don't know. Yeah, so there's, usually the store is pooping. When you go poop, when he goes poop, then you take him to the store. There's a program oh. called Potty Training in a Day where you just give them their favorite drinks and snacks all day long and let them hover around the potty and then throughout the day they realize the feeling of needing to go to the bad bathroom, the urgency of needing to go to the bathroom and how to hold it and when to go. So, see how it goes for him today. And it's really just like anything else. You just gotta really focus on it, <laughs> put a lot of attention on it, and really work hard at it. We're getting there, guys. We're really getting there. I think we're gonna. it's gonna happen. So, later tonight at like 7, I'm going to the movies with a couple friends. We're gonna go watch Jumanji because they haven't seen it. The deal is with my parents, since I don't have to go to school right now, and my school doesn't start for another like 10 days-ish. Mom's having me do chores and read. So I am doing the dishwasher right now. Yay! kind of crazy funny smells in here. Canyon wanted popcorn. Danielle made something. What are you eating? Sandwich. What's on it? <laughs> oh, pickle sandwich. It's only one piece of one pickle. That's why it smells <laughs> funny in here because all the pickles. You want pickle? Okay, sit down, we'll get you a pickle. Uh, uh, sit on the potty, we'll get you a pickle. Canyon's so confused, he's like, I'm supposed to sit at the table when I eat food, and now you guys are telling me to sit on my potty to eat food. It's confusing. <laughs> Sarah and I have a funeral to go to, which is why I'm dressed in this, uh, here in just a few minutes. And this might sound really selfish of me, and it's because I'm a very sentimental person. I don't want to go because what if he pees while I'm gone? He's our last kid, and I want to just see there and be excited. Anyway. I guess I'll just have to sacrifice that piece for a minute and hope that he doesn't pee until I get back. I don't know. If he does, it's okay. And I don't want to miss it, but we've got to go to this funeral and support the family. Hi, Az. How was school? Good. I'm home. Do you have another take home book? Uh, yeah. Yeah? What do you need to Thank you. You want pee? Uh -huh. Woohoo! Good job, Giga! Let's I go wash your hands. Let's put on your unders and wash your hands, okay? Nice job! High five! Woohoo! Did you go pee pee on the potty? Yay! Come here, give mommy hug. Yay, Giga! That's such a good boy! Yay, 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 yay! Danielle and I just came down. We had some little friends come over to play for a while. And Canyon was in the kitchen no. hugging these. Now look over and Canyon is holding this huge knife by the blade like that. And then this one was in his armpit. Crazy guy, I must. It looks like Lizzie left the dishwasher open. She must have put these in. Hey Lizzie. Hey Lizzie, were you loading the dishwasher? Did you forget about it? Because it's open right here, but that's not the bad thing. The bad thing is, is we came downstairs and Canyon was playing with these. You need to be super careful, okay? We don't want anyone to get cut, so if you're done, you need to close the dishwasher, okay? I missed it, dang it, I missed it. It's okay, 
The good thing is he went pee on the potty, so now we gotta go in and make a huge deal about it and like Sarah said, celebrate. What happened? Gigo. Gigo? What happened? What happened? Come to daddy. Did you pee pee in this potty? In the potty. Did you pee pee on this potty right here? This one? Mm -hmm. How was it? Good. Was it good? Mm -hmm. And then you weren't wet anymore and you didn't have to have a diaper change? Hey, stay here, dude. <laughs> Gigo, I'm so happy. So Sarah had to run halfway through the funeral. Mm -hmm. She got to hear her friends sing, which was incredible. Holy cow. So beautiful. The funeral was incredible. It was, uh, it was a neighbor of ours. Branson actually used to mow his lawn as well. And uh, he's very particular about about his yard, so that's a that's quite an honor for the for him to allow Branson to mow his lawn. But anyway, it was it was sad to see him go. Um, he was suffering a lot, though. He had a lot that he was going through, and his family seemed to be happy that he wasn't suffering anymore. Just like always, we always leave um, a funeral, and I've said it before. I love funerals. It might sound a little weird or whatever, but I totally love funerals because it reminds us of. Every single time I leave a funeral, I, I want to be, become a better person in, in one way or another. As I was thinking about it today, I left this one wanting to just be more patient, just be a, a, a more, more of a patient person and uh, loving and caring, especially towards my kids. And then uh, also just look around to help and serve other people. But also as I was sitting there thinking, I was thinking about you guys. I was thinking about our followers. I was thinking about our Tannerites family and our, our message of you are worth it. And um, and one of the things that I was thinking about is there is absolutely zero that we can do about what happened yesterday. Um, we may have done some incredible things yesterday. Uh, whatever it was, um, it doesn't matter. We may have done some terrible things yesterday. We may have done nothing at all. We may have done some, like I said, an incredible some things. It doesn't matter. It's right the second that's important. And that second I just talked about is gone now too. So really it's what are we going to do with our future? What are we going to do? with the now and moving forward. So as you're thinking about that and uh, the you are worth it message that we love to talk about, you are absolutely 100% worth it because your future is what's most important. It's not about what happened in the past. And don't shame yourself for what happened yesterday. Be excited for who you can become, who you are now, and who you can be tomorrow. So that's kind of what I was thinking about. I was thinking as I was thinking about you guys as I was at this funeral. So anything else? You can't else? ever change the past, but you can make the future fabulous. Make it great, absolutely. So, and then, and then one more thing: people leave this life, the only one absolute in life. It's, there's only one, and that is that we're all going to die. Um, and uh, I guess the second absolute is we, we really don't typically know what we're going to die from. So we just got to make it great. We got to make today great and tomorrow great. And if we go tomorrow, we're going to be in a better place. We don't suffer anymore. We don't have to deal with this body that's you know imperfect and. And so, anyway, life is good. Let's make it great, guys. Do everything you can to be the best you you can be. Yes. What is on your shirt? Mac and cheese. Do you like mac and cheese? A piece of mac and cheese surfing on mac and cheese. Surfing in mac and cheese, I love it, dude. Uh-oh, timer. That means my steak is done, as. I have the best husband in the world. I do. Whatever it is. I do. You guys, I cannot even tell you how much Johnny takes care of me, always. He always takes care of me, and he's so awesome. I love him. Jobs and now we gotta go to the move. Now we gotta go to the move or we get to go to the move. Let's go, Allie. Right now, I am. We have some cute little neighbor girls over that we're babysitting for a little while. I'm grocery shopping. I know, crazy, right? Sitting at the kitchen table grocery shopping. This is the best thing ever. Go through the store right here online. You pay for it. Check what time you want to go, and then you go drive to the store, pull into their parking thing, and they load it into your car for you. 
I am sure you saw it a while ago on the blog, me picking up the groceries. It is so awesome because I get the things I need and I'm not walking up and down hungry and saying, oh, I need these cookies, oh, I need these. And so it helps with the finances, one thing, and it also helps with staying on healthy eating because I don't see the cookies and say, oh, I really want those cookies and throw them into my cart. Can I get your autograph? Can I get your autograph? Oh, she's sitting here telling me about her awesome childhood. Yeah. My good old childhood. He's my soul. <laughs> he likes <laughs> And then we'll go to the mall. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so that's only one of the YouTubers that are coming. Only one. There's like another other people. <laughs> It's <laughs> not me. Okay, so the movie so hasn't started yet. It's just like the commercials before the movie, like. This movie's oh, so awesome. It's just like the commercials, like, oh, turn off your phone, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> my online course right now on how to be a learning coach to help Danielle with her homeschool. It's one of the requirements that the homeschool program requires. While I'm waiting for the little kids to get their pajamas on, I'm re I'm listening to this. Okay, that movie is probably one of my favorite movies. How was it? Good. It's funny the second time you watch it. Really? Because you know what's gonna happen? <laughs> I'm sure you actually like have time to pay attention to the joke. We're back from the movie, and the second time was just as good. It was hilarious. I love that movie so much. And we did finish the popcorn. So mommy's over here eating it all. I am thankful for leftover popcorn. <laughs> I am. I love movie theater popcorn. I'm gonna go read now. That was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> Chad and Zayden and Roberta. If you are watching this, you have to go watch that a second time. The first time, oh yeah, it's funny, whatever but you're more concerned about like what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen. And then the second time you watch it, it's funnier because you know it's gonna happen and so you're paying more attention to the jokes. I'm <laughs> just thinking about it, I crack up. I was like laughing before the jokes because I knew it was gonna happen and <laughs> I love that movie so much. We've had a really fun day today. It's a Friday so we get to sleep in. We had such a fun day. But now it's time for us to go to bed and get some sleep. I'm actually excited to go to bed. How about you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just wanted to tell you before we went to bed that we love you. Okay. Um, on Sunday you don't get to sleep in. Yeah, not for us. Actually, we do get to sleep in. We have 11 o'clock church, I think. Mommy told me that. Yeah, okay. So, we just want you to remember that you, you are welcome.